It's a pleasure to meet you all. My name is uh, Cristina. I live uh, in uh, Sunny Madrid uh, in uh, Spain. I have uh, 17 years experience in uh, customer marketing, working for B2B technology companies uh, such as uh, Cisco and uh, Microsoft. And what I'm going to share in, in this session is um, a way that I developed to engage uh, and then promote uh, a customer case, uh, which helped me to win an award inside of Cisco as the um, uh, best customer advocacy and to end model. And also to um, give a possibility to increase of 200% uh, uh, the number of uh, unique visitors of my, um, that lands on my page. But let me know a bit about you who would like to start emily would you like to start introduce yourself sure sure um i am uh the it's a new it's a new title i just started i am the uh customer engagement and outreach manager and i might have those backwards at appfire and so we're working on a model of doing um <clears throat> pardon me customer research directly uh we've got a customer research department that we're building out um, to work directly with clients, uh, customers to kind of um, learn what they want and help us move forward with product development. Perfect. Um, someone else who want to present yourself? You have just to unmute yourself. I can go. Um, yes. So my name is Chen. Um, I'm logging in from Austin, Texas in the US um, right now. And I work in the same company as Emily. And my position is um, the audience research coordinator. So oh. I primarily focus on coordinating research projects, um, arranging communications between customers and our leadership team. I'm pretty new to this role and uh, customer research in general. Um, so I'm just hoping to gain some insights and just learn from um, this session today. Fantastic. Uh, thanks, uh, Chen. And his own, maybe you want to be the next one. Um, yes, I'm, I'm really just wanting to learn about everything. I'm new to the space. I'm actually do general marketing for point of reference. So we're a vendor in the space, but I also handle the customer marketing component, like the CX interviews and things like that. But primarily I'm still trying to learn um, what kind of problems you guys deal with every day and how you solve them and just, just learning about everything. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Sarah, do you want to introduce yourself as well? Sure. Um, so I've been running the customer advocacy program for about two and a half years. I work at Audit Board and we, um, so I think for the last, it's really just been building, trying to get as many advocates on board as we can. We're using Influitive to manage that process, which has been very helpful. Um, and I think we're at the stage now where I really would like to try to take it to the next level and see, you know, how do we integrate more with the rest of the organization? Um, how do we take advantage of all the great assets we've been able to build and embed them more across all different areas? Sure. Thanks, Sarah. Someone else wants to introduce your, uh, yourself before I start the presentation? Yeah, I, I can go next. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, my name is Yoslin. Um, I work with Sarah actually at Audiboard. Um, I'm a customer advocacy specialist. Um, I'm I'm new to my role and I'm new to marketing, so I'm just uh, here to like learn everything, uh, best practices, and uh, just new ways that we can continue to scale our program. Um, so yeah. Fantastic. Uh, thanks, Jos. Well. Uh, I see that uh, the number of participants has definitely increased. So without any, I, I will let you um, present also during um, the presentation. Um, as I say, I really would like to have an interactive presentation. So please uh, interrupt me in any time you want to do any question or comment. Uh, um, so um, we can, you know, I can provide exactly the information you want and we can have also a nice uh, chat. So um, as I say, this is my um, 
Uh, this is my role. I am uh, working uh, in Cisco as a global customer marketing uh, uh, lead. And uh, the the reason why we the reason why I'm why we're here is exactly this. I want to show you this model, this way of engage a customer and then structure. Uh, um, a case study which helped me to increase of 200% the number of unique visitors that lands on the page that I create, convert the customer that is the hero of the story into a champion, and uh, uh, reach new customer executives and influencer while uh, um, I was doing this, uh, the activity correlated to this uh, plan. This is how I would like to structure this session. So I will share my challenges, uh, the solution I come up with, the results I was able to achieve, and I will finish with some key takeaways for you that you can start to use uh, right now after the session, and which I can really uh, hope we can help you to be successful. So let's start with challenges. And I wanna thank the people who take time to answer uh, the pool that I put, uh, put on WOHA for this session. My first challenge uh, is always the time, you know, the time that I need to uh, create a public success story. So uh, the, with that, I mean, from the moment when a customer say, yes, I want to do a case to the moment when the case is finally live. And here I see that, uh, um, the majority uh, takes no more than three months or well, lucky like you, <laughs> because in my case, uh, usually take uh, minimum four months. And let me explain you why. Um, as I told you at the beginning, I work, I work in, now in Cisco, but previously work also in Microsoft and in both of the companies, uh, these are always all the steps that I need to follow before to have a case study or a customer story published. From the moment where I'm looking for the right customer to the moment where, you know, the customer agree about publishing the story at a certain day in a certain way. And in all these steps of a customer is involved which means that my second challenge is that when we finally have the case ready is have, you know, is have again the customer on board ready to share, uh, to share, to share the story. And uh, which brings to the second challenge. And I, again, this is the, the pool that I, um, that I wrote before and for this session, where I ask uh, which are your challenge once your case is, uh, is ready. And again, I, I, I really empathize <laughs> uh, with the other people that ask me has the same problem of convince the hero of the story to share. And also, you know, after you do this, how to track the results. So, uh, so good news is that I've, I found my way to solve these two challenges. And uh, let me show you how I did. <clears throat> so I started with, you know, the, my, my, my main problem was time, as I say, and the majority of the time that I spent was find the right customer. So it really helped me create uh, a community of customer. And uh, it takes me three, year, three years to, to build uh, a community of customer for cybersecurity. Uh, what you see right now is the screenshot of a community that I built. We are talking about uh, 700 cybersecurity customer that uh, uh, was able to um, recruit, nurture, and engage in this online community. Is a community that I create using uh, Influitiva. is based on gaming. Uh, and um, in, the, in this community, I basically had the, the customer to meet other uh, peer in order to, you know, grow their personal professional career, but also um, to share as we are doing right now, their challenges in order to see how other people afford these challenges. And uh, this helped me a lot because uh, all the time that previously I spent finding the right customer, 
have no more of this program. Thanks to this community, they are the customer who candidate for himself uh, to do something with us from reference uh, to case study to simple an article. So thanks to this community, just to give you an example, I created the last year 90% of our public customer case study. So 26 uh, case study in, in cybersecurity, which is not the most easy, <laughs> you know, things to, uh, to save, I mean, for a customer sharing with the potential uh, uh, cyber criminal, how they protect themselves. It's not easy to convince them to do, but uh, this community helped me a lot in uh, doing this. And um, once the customer in this community say, yes, I'm ready, I want to do a case, what is the next step? The next step uh, which change the game for me is a set a meeting with the customer and say to the customer, look, um, I really appreciate that you want to work with us. Uh, tell me what you are looking for in this activity. How can I help you as a customer in marketing, as customer advocacy? Are you looking for, I don't know, increase your um, career? personal branding, your internal, uh, the influence that you have with your boss. And once, uh, once we have, you know, this conversation, uh, I exactly know what a customer wants. And uh, here what I'm sharing is a concrete case. So this is the conversation that I had with this advocate. The name is Blair Anderson. He is the IT manager of uh, Showing High School, is uh, um, a school based uh, in Kansas uh, with uh, 4,300 people that uh, Blair has to protect every day. So I had this conversation with Blair after that he candidate for a case study. And Blair told me, look, Christina, I'm, I like to teach. I like to share. I just want to be visible on that. And I say to Blair, I will do my best to help you be visible and be perceived externally as a real security leader. And, uh, and the next step was uh, creating two videos about how Blair, you know, was able to uh, protect the school and uh, he was able to provide great value, but the video and the entire story was focused on the person. So it was not the classical product video case uh, where there is someone who can be whoever talking about your company. No, it was really a video where I tried to, mm, I, I let the customer be at the center of the video. And, uh, um, uh, let me see if I can share with you, for example, just the, the, the one of the two video, uh, so you can have a, you know a better test about what I'm I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the first video that I've um, created. The challenge of protecting my school district from outside threats and keeping my 4,300 staff and students secure from any network is what I enjoy most about cybersecurity. I never imagined myself as a security hero in the gateway community, but with my passion for security, music, and teaching, it makes sense. All of those things require you to be thinking ahead of what's going to be coming up next, what's going to be taking place in two weeks. With music, you're planning for a concert, that, that ultimate test. Same way in education, how do they teach the students to be successful in life? All that has led over to technology because we have to be planning for the future. The trumpet has pushed me to work with different team members, especially when you're in a band. It's not about you, it's, it's a team atmosphere. For an education district, you've got a lot of kids, you've got a lot of staff, uh, teachers, instructional coaches, literacy tutors. All of those play a role into the security, but I've taken that on as a, a challenge because I just love teaching others. Even though I'm not in the classroom, I still get to teach staff, I get to teach students, and I get to teach my own staff. If 
if I, if I know something, um, I want to share that with them. I want to see them be successful. That's the best feeling that, to have is when you see somebody else be successful in life. My name is Blair Anderson, and I am the Director of Information Technology at Shawnee Heights School District and a Cisco Gateway Cybersecurity Ambassador. Wow. Okay. Hope you hope you enjoy hope you enjoy uh, the video and you have a sense of what I mean with when I say that I, I really left the customer be the center of the story. So this was one of the two video, but I, I really started the the um, uh, you know the story from uh, focusing on who is this person that is uh, talking about uh, a project uh, that. Uh, make a, a great impact for uh, the company where uh, he, he was working on. Second, uh, the third element, uh, sorry, of this model was humanize the promotion. So the customer was so engaged that from a day one, when we started to create the story, he shared on his LinkedIn profile, what he would, LinkedIn provide, what he was doing. And uh, here you can find also another example of another advocates. In this case, it is uh, the head of information technology of a manufacturing company, Enric, who did the same thing. Uh, he shared on his LinkedIn profile what he was doing with us um, because uh, due to the conversation that we have at the beginning, both of them, they feel that this was absolutely something useful for them, you know, not only for their company, but for them as a professional in cybersecurity. So I humanized the promotion, involving the customer in the promotion, but also involving a third party in the promotion. So I, um, I ask uh, one of the top uh, 20 cybersecurity on, on analytic influencer, Mark Lin, uh, to invite uh, uh, this customer, in this case was Blair, to one of his video interview. And uh, the story was so good that the influencer said, yes, okay. And uh, he created a video story with the customer and he also, you know, started to promote this on his social profile. And this activity with an, a third party talking about uh, this story was essential for me because it gave me the possibility to reach um, some type of audience that otherwise is very difficult for me to reach as, uh, um, you know, the CIO that you see here who comment the post or, or a cybersecurity expert and influencer. It's difficult for uh, my company to reach in, an, you know, in an authentic way because what is the best way to reach this customer than having an influencer uh, who has your customer saying fantastic things about you. Uh, humanize the promotion, I mean also the fact that I ask to the advocates who are part of the community where Blair is uh, to share this story on their uh, social profile. And uh, this on the right is example of uh, a social post done by one of these advocates uh, where they share this story. And if you go on LinkedIn and you use the hashtag security heroes, you can find all the posts uh, that are done uh, externally by these advocates. Uh, mm, and by the way, this is uh, something that I've created thanks to this community, the hashtag and also this uh, type of external activity. So humanize the promotion and then who, uh, you know that when you do a case study, usually the sales come to you and say, okay, let's send a gift to the customer to, to thank them. No, I decided to do a different thing. So, um, I decided before to send the gift, I did, you know, to put all the pieces uh, of a different activity together and create a promotional plan. So this is my three step plan which is basically, I, did, I list the, all the content that I created. For each of them, I assign uh, which internal channel I uh, was going to use to promote this specific content. And then, uh, consequentially, which external channel I was going to promote to use. 
And uh, the order of external child in my case are, is always the same. I start with the customer, with the hero involved uh, in the story, uh, suggesting them to, to be the first person who share what we are doing. And then I involve the influencer that is involved in the story. And then the advocates are part of our community. They are always the first um, people who know about what Cisco is doing uh, in cybersecurity. Cisco is a company who sells through partner. So after I advise the partner and then the rest of the world. This is the, you know, the, the way that I structure the overall promotional plan. Um, and it really helped me to save time, my time and also uh, customer time, because for everything so, uh, that I create, there is, some, there is always a way to promote externally. And then, as I say, regarding the reward, instead send the gift to the customer, I provide as a surprise an experience. And in my case, the experience was uh, uh, invite the customer uh, who received this box to, in a VIP community uh, inside a, a Cisco Insider, a community reserved to 30 people around the world, uh, which are our advocates. And in this community, um, he can have uh, uh, some special benefit. And I didn't wake up a day <laughs> deciding that these were benefit. I decided this benefit because I saw that in the community, this is exactly what our cybersecurity customers are looking for. They are looking for discount in exams to be, you know, to become better professional. Uh, they want to um, be promoted externally. And this is exactly what they can find in this community. So, uh, in our case, Blair received the box. In the box, there is a QR code. Clicking on the QR code, he, and he can join this community. And you can see here, once they join the community, what they can say, for example, here are all the congratulations that are posted in the community by the other uh, ambassadors that are part of the community. Um, and uh, as I say, we are also interested in being promoted externally. So this community call it the League of Cybersecurity Heroes. I'm also promoted in a dedicated uh, blog uh, in which uh, I uh, go one by one <laughs> for all the advocacy saying why they are amazing. Okay, you could say fantastic, Christina, but what about results? or this effort for what? Okay, so let's take a look about the results that we were able to achieve. I told you before, my um, agreement with Blair was help him to have visibility. And uh, this is exactly what happens. And he obtained such <laughs> visibility that uh, the week before, one week before we went live with the case, uh, he changed the job and uh, he became a senior system administrator in a very important public sector company in Kansas. And you may think, oh gosh, oh, this is a nightmare for a customer market, you know, your case go live and your customer change job, but not in this case, because due to the fact that he was engaged in the community and in uh, through this model, despite he changed the job, he continued to promote us uh, and promote Cisco on the right uh, side of this presentation, you can see his post after that he's changed the job, which is again, you know, promoting the company. So this is what I mean with convert a customer into a champion. Now, whatever company Blair will go, he will have, let's say, uh, Cisco in his mind and heard as a, a vendor who really make a difference for him. And these are all the results in terms of uh, uh, performance of the page where the case study with the two visuals that I showed you before are hosted. Uh, I would love to share when the number, but for policy reason, I can't. What I can share is the percentage of, um, um, of the performance. So we have uh, more than 150% uh, uh, view uh, in comparison with the average view of Cisco uh, customer story, more than 200% unique visitors, 
And this is the statistic that I'm more proud of, more than 300 return visitors, which means that the content was so uh, useful that you know, the people who lengthen the page, they come back to reuse the content. So definitely it was something of great value to the people. Indeed, with the bounce rate, bounce rate means the people who left uh, the page before 10 seconds. In our case, in the case uh, with this page, it was only 22%, when usually is 44%. And the average time spent on this page um, was two minutes and uh, 50 seconds. So almost three minutes, basically. The people saw the video, they click more. Indeed, we have more than 260% of clicks and we have more than 200% of total video. And you have to think that what I'm showing you right now are statistics where I didn't measure the Cisco employee. So here you can see all the rest of the world, you know, visitors, our partners. Uh, so it's really the impact that we have uh, on the audience, let's say. Uh, talking about audience, I told you before that I engage uh, an influencer. So let's see how the activity with influencer, um, which are the results. Um, the results, I'm very happy about the results because uh, this is an example uh, with just uh, uh, one post, uh, we have almost 400 view. Um, and uh, a part of the quantity is very important, the quality. So take a look on the right of the type of um, audience that uh, was able to achieve. I told you this is uh, this uh, school is from Kansas, you know, and take a look from a geographical perspective, the people who, who was watching the video interview, exactly the area uh, was interesting on. And in terms of uh, job title, uh, was able to reach chief information officer, technology managers, uh, information technology consultants. These are exactly my people, the type of uh, audience that uh, need to be heard. So to summarize, if I can summarize uh, in, uh, you know, four uh, words, uh, my key takeaways from this experience, uh, these are my suggestions. First of all, if you want to be successful, uh, my suggestion is sit down with your customer and start asking what they want. What is their motivation in being involved in creating something with you? And it can be whatever. In my case, it was, uh, you know, having external visibility, but I have also other advocates who are really looking for and help to be seen by their boss because they want to ask for more money for new projects. And then uh, humanize the promotion. So uh, it's really important to focus the story on the person, not only when you create the content, but also when you share the content. So try to have, uh, you know, a human, uh, a human touch uh, or externally having an, an influencer who can help you or other customer if you have a community who can help you to share. If you don't have this, in any case, the tone of your promotion, if it's, you know, mm, 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 it's more close, more human, it's, can always be different from your competitor. And then the three-step plan. It really helped me, you know, for every content you have, design advance, which channel you're going to use to promote that. It's definitely um, very useful. Last but not least, my suggestion is reward with an experience, not with a gift, because everyone can send a gift. If you want to be different from your different, you know, from your competitor, but also provide something which can engage more of a customer, think which experience you can provide. In my case, it was invite the customer uh, in this VIP community, but it can be, I don't know, uh, give a possibility of a customer to talk with someone in your company who can be beneficial for, uh, for him. Um, I have advocates, for example, who are struggling uh, managing their team because they are just new 
in their in their role as a people manager so i give them possibility to talk with our hr manager who can you know give some advice for that to them or other who are really just uh, looking for some expert because they want to know more about one specific topic and uh, let this be this person talk with uh, some expert not a product expert but an expert on this specific topic that i have in my company so reward them with an experience that is my my suggestion and um, um i i wrote here all the things that i've uh, <laughs> studied before to develop this process so that i, I left here also for you um, the, um, the last report of the influencer that I found very useful, the top influencer for whatever vertical industry sector that has been written down by Analytica, the last one, an interesting article about how to turn a case study into a customer success story that I, I use, uh, you know, to, um, to develop the idea of humanize the content and some tips for create a trending on LinkedIn as that one that I was showing before with the security hero. And then you will find all the link to the assets that I uh, share right now. Um, I would love, you know, we are talking about heroes uh, and uh, we are all heroes in our, in our field. And I uh, really, in the sense that uh, uh, give a possibility to the customer to spread their voice externally and be seen for what they really are is an amazing uh, talent that we have and uh, I really appreciate that you take time in your you know day-by-day -day job to attend this session and uh, uh, you would love uh, to hear from you any you know feedback or if you have any question also after this session I am, these are all my contacts uh, uh, that I uh, that I leave you here, and then I will send to Dana so you can have a presentation. Um, I will stop to share, and uh, so we'll open uh, for all question or that you can have or comment. Chen, uh, was it useful? Was uh, for your uh, job as audience manager yeah it was definitely insightful um i don't have any additional question um at this moment though okay and uh emily what about you no i have i have a whole like two three pages of notes here so that's that's good <laughs> <laughs> um no, I think, I think uh, I'm just going to have to kind of, um, I, you know, it would be okay if I reached out to you on LinkedIn at a later time, just because I, um, I, I need to kind of filter this through my, through my brain a little bit, but I bet I will have questions later. So it okay. was really good. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I have a question, Christina, this is Sarah. Um, just out of curiosity, with you can tell it's high production quality, the video that you shared with us. Um, and obviously you mentioned earlier, it takes time to from start to finish. So do you have goals and metrics of how many in one year that you're producing of something like that? Because it's, I wouldn't think that you're just churning those out, <laughs> you know, like they, they take some time. Yeah, yeah, I have uh, qualitative, I mean, my goal, are qualitative goal more than quantitative goal. I um, in the sense that uh, um, I need to create uh, um, minimum uh, in a year twenty video case study, which can uh, you know help um, Cisco to increase their brand perception. How we measure the brand perception? We measure using the metrics that I showed you before unique visitors, return visitors, how many people uh, stay on the page, and then, uh, you know, the comment that we have on uh, um, on the influencer post and also on our social post. But yeah, these are the goals that I have. And uh, regarding the quality of the video, uh, yeah, I really take time, but 
you know what sort of effect that the the customer was so engaged uh, that in the case of Blair, have a meeting with him on Monday, and the, the following week he was in the call with the video the video agency, and just to decide the day when for the shooting, and then uh, they have a shooting, and basically I create everything from in three months the the video and so far. So it was, um, yeah, that was the, the results. So. And I, I have a follow-up question to that too, because there are lots of things. Um, so we have in the last couple of years gone very much sort of away from written case studies and focusing more on video. Do you see, the, do you think that's a trend? Is it something that you see as well? Or do you think they have to go hand in hand um, you know, the, the video or the written component is really just sort of a, accompanies the video, but it's not an extensive like we used to do. Yeah, I mean, the trend that I see is a first uh, capture the attention video. And then uh, in the second moment, uh, it's uh, the case, uh, you know, really have uh, a great grip, uh, the written part. Uh, but uh, in my case, it's, what I see is that... Um, nothing pays more than a video to have, you know, someone on board taking a look of your content more than uh, the written case. In the customer journey, the written case uh, really perform well. You know when? When I provide uh, in the, um, uh, to the sales, uh, when they have uh, um, a meeting with a customer who has already other vendors to decide which is the best one. In that part of a journey, the written case is essential because you go in the details on the product where it's needed. But the beginning of the journey to capture the attention of uh, the potential case, the potential customer, the video is what is uh, helping us more. It really depends, you know, my opinion, where you are, what you want to achieve. Thank you. Yeah, a pleasure. Okay. Um, well, I, I, first of all, was sorry that I started later. Secondly, so happy that we <laughs> have a possibility to share, in any case, with all of you this, uh, uh, this session. And um, I, I really want to thank you all again to be part of this. Hope you have a fantastic day.